this is a Minecraft screenshot. Don't believe me? What about now? Still no? What about now? <laughs> Do you believe me yet? What if I told you that I did this in vanilla Minecraft without any mods installed with one command? <laughs> and what if I told you that that isn't even the craziest thing you'll see in this video? Like most cursed things in life, it all started with Twitter. I was scrolling through cat memes when something interesting popped up on my timeline. A tweet from an account named Godlander. This person was experimenting with a tool that could convert complex models into Minecraft resource pack files. So naturally, I got the idea to see how realistic I could make Minecraft before my computer crashed. The first thing I decided to do was figure out how to get a basic model imported. I skimmed through a bunch of different online modeling websites and downloaded a couple random models to try out. <gasps> we have to get the Home Depot crate! Look at it! Oh! Now this car looks fast. We gotta get this one. Why is this $10? <laughs> Next, I had to install four things. Python, pillow, a picture of a funny cowboy, and Object MC, the tool this project is based around. The cowboy's just there for when I start to feel lonely which is very frequently. But luckily for me, I'm completely illiterate and Godlander is super kind and they offered to include some sample models with the tool for me to try out. Okay, so it looks like I'm holding a sphere, but when I place it down, it's a just a weird blue cube. Uh, okay, it's a rainbow now. Okay, there we go. It's supposed to be a sphere. Okay, it's a rainbow sphere. Look at that. <laughs> and then if we do pink stained glass, look at that. It's a companion cube. So while these models are very cool, they're only samples. And if I'm going to make my computer explode, I needed to be able to import my own models. Uh... 3D models, there we, okay, yeah, these ones. It took me hours, maybe even day, it might've even taken me a week to learn how to perfect this tool, but I eventually learned it and got it to work and got everything running. I'm really excited for this one. <gasps> Look at it, it's so small. Warning, used by other than registered owner prohibited by law. Wait, does that mean this is illegal? <laughs> Here, let's try to make this bigger and then we refresh oh, that's a little too big i'm in the basket hello hello i'm in the basket let me out this one looks about right and i made it white stained glass so now if i grab white stained glass they're just actual blocks you can place <laughs> i am shopping i am shopping i'm buying items wait there's something i've always wanted to do in real life wait a second <laughs> in real life i've always wanted to stack these up and stand on them because they look so sturdy look at them go i think i'm enjoying these too much <laughs> now that i had some simple models working it was time to try something a little bit bigger much bigger probably not that big that one, that one might be a little too big. I did some browsing, a little shopping, if you will, for a massive rock model. And I found one online, downloaded it, imported it into the tool. And by the way, all models I use in this video will be linked below. So if you really like this rock, you can go find that rock. It's down there just for you. I think I've made a mistake. How do I, where is the command blocks? I found them in the tunnel. There we go. Okay. Look at how cool this rock is though. This is crazy. This just doesn't feel right like what this doesn't feel like this should be in minecraft the next step was i needed to learn how to import a model that's not only massive but also has a ton of detail too because i mean this rock looks cool but it's really not that complicated it's just a rock and this is where i got an idea a crazy idea an absurd idea and i know the fact of me getting an idea probably already scares you but trust me, this one's kind of cool. I wanted to import an entire world from Super Mario 64 into Minecraft. So let's do it. I did some perusing online. I found the model. I downloaded the model. I tried to import it like normal, but then something went wrong. The model had no textures whatsoever. They came with a file. Why weren't they in Blender? And it was at this time that I learned something very, very important. I don't actually know what I'm doing. You see, to import a model into Minecraft, the Object MC tool can only handle a single texture file at a time. And the amount of texture files in an entire Mario level is, well, at least two. It's probably at least two, which is too many. But I was insistent to make this model work. I refused to quit. No matter what happened, if I got hit by a truck, I would get out of the hospital and try to make this model work. So I did some research and I learned about a technique called texture baking. Texture baking, like the name implies, works almost exactly like an easy bake oven. 
you put all your textures in one side, you click all the buttons, you wait, something smells weird, and then one really big texture file comes out of the back. And if it combines all of the textures into one texture, when Object MC can only handle one texture, this sounds exactly like what we're looking for. But this is when I ran into my first major issue actually doing the texture baking. <laughs> Apparently, texture baking is an extremely complicated process that takes like hours to do, even if you know what you're doing and have, are like a Blender expert, which I am most definitely not. I've never used this program before. <laughs> and since I'm brand new, it would probably take me like at least a week of nonstop Blender usage to get up to like the level of an average user, who then it would still take me hours to learn how to texture bake. But that's when I found something, my wallet. Yay! I found out that Blender actually has plugins you can buy that allow you to texture bake super easily with like one button. Almost like an easy bake oven. And I've been too addicted to staring at the sun recently to learn how to do it myself, so I bought the highest rated texture baking plugin on Blender, added every individual texture from the model, and tried it out. If I did everything right, when I click this, I did not expect this to work. This does not look like Minecraft. Here, let me see if I can raise the resolution. Hmm, I don't think this looks right. Oh, there we go. Look at how much nicer this looks. Why don't we just bring some blocks up here? I'm not a fan of how much it stutters. I'm not really sure why it does that, but it looks so cool. Come on, we gotta give it a Mario. See, oh boy, that is too big. <laughs> The fact that this is vanilla Minecraft is like unbelievable to me. Oh, you guys aren't ready for this one. Ah! I'm Mario. Look at me go. I'm the funny man. Yahoo. Yippee. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. This is absolutely fantastic. But don't forget that the point of the video was to make Minecraft so realistic that my computer might explode. And now that we know how to import big detailed files, then what better way to make Minecraft realistic than to import models that are real life objects 3D scanned into a computer? You literally cannot get more realistic than that. So I went back online, did a little shopping, did a little perusing as they say, and I downloaded a very highly detailed real life tree stump online. Now, I don't know if there's some trend I've never heard about, but the amount of very realistic 3D scan tree stumps is like greater than five, which was a little unexpected, but hey, it looks cool. This is weird to see. It looks, it looks so real. Well, it compiled, so. Okay, I loaded the texture pack. Oh, well, it's sideways, but it's not crashing the game. What? Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Okay, second time's the charm. <gasps> This is like unbelievably realistic. <laughs> I'm getting 15, 14 FPS. That's better than I expected. So now we got a realistic model working, although it's kind of laggy, but I want to try something bigger that's equally as realistic. I'm going to add the Roman Colosseum. Oh, that's kind of pricey, actually. Yeah, that's worse. I'm going to add the Eiffel Tower into the, mine into the game, into Minecraft. Okay, so if I click one... <laughs> There we go. And then if I place it down, this thing's huge. What if I put a put a couple of them down? We're <laughs> gonna make a really thick Eiffel Tower. It's the Eiffel Tiny. At this point, I was extremely satisfied with what I'd seen so far, but I wanted to push this tool to the extreme. I wanted to get as big and as realistic as I could just on the line of my computer catching fire. And let me tell you now, it was not easy to do. Mainly because I found this entire Tap Street arch as a full single 3D model. This thing is massive. So I got the model downloaded and imported into Blender and I got all the textures baked on, just like we've done for Babom Battlefield. But this is when I noticed one massive issue. <laughs> you see, models are made up of a thing called polygons, which are essentially a bunch of little tiny triangles that make up the shape of the model. And the biggest model we've seen was the realistic tree trunk with 150,000 polygons. That model crashed the game. This Tap Street Arch has 2 million polygons inside of this model. That's more than I have subscribers for now. You, I mean, you could change that. Anyways, it took me almost three minutes just to open this model in Blender. It took me almost an hour just to bake the textures. And not only that, but when I tried to test it in game, 
the model would tear all over the place no matter how many times I tried it. This kind of looks like those like weird laser rooms. Like you got to get through without touching the lasers. Dun, 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 dun. I tried using a bunch of guides online for smoothing out the model to decrease the poly count and tried relinking all the poly edges to fix any seams in the mesh, but ultimately my work made little impact. And this is when I decided to do the taboo, the unthinkable. I decided to do what no person in history ever imagined would be possible. I asked someone for help. My friend Cosmic Matt from Power Palette did some magic on it and got it down to about 100,000 polygons. That's less than the tree trunk was. And after he sent it back to me, all I had to do left was import it into the game. <gasps> Yo, it worked. <laughs> Look at this. This is real life in Minecraft. This actually feels wrong <laughs> i don't know how to describe this look at this i am in the jail let me out of the jail this actually feels so like wrong and right at the same time <gasps> canada want to see more minecraft projects like this subscribe and check out this video next it's a pretty cool one you'll like it my macaroni's gonna heat i need to run um